Welcome to Not My Reality. I'm your host, Vince Stradamus. This is a case of you can't make this up. But wait a minute, in this one, maybe you can make it up. What are we talking about? Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy is calling out David Spade, who's forever Joe Dirt to us here, Not My Reality. For what? For making a racist joke. Yep, a racist joke on Saturday Night Live. Eddie Murphy has not forgotten how David Spade treated him in the 1990s. Yeah, the 1990s. So, like a lot of these accusations, let's hop in the Wayback Machine and we're going to go back to the 1990s, 30 years ago. Murphy recently told the New York Times that the two comedians had a falling out after Spade, 59. I can't believe Joe Dirt is 59. After Spade made a joke about Murphy on Saturday Night Live that Murphy felt was, quote, racist. Parody. If you don't have a sense of humor, go. Welcome. Is this my reality? Is this your reality? The year was 1995, and Spade did a sketch called Hollywood Minute, where he showed a picture of Murphy whose horror movie, Vampire in Brooklyn, had just bombed at the box office. And he said, look children, it's a falling star. Make a wish. Look children, it's a falling star. Make a wish. Yeah, yes, that's right. You make a Hollywood Minute omelet, you break some eggs. In the New York Times interview released Saturday, yet yeah, this Saturday, 2024, Murphy admitted he was taken aback by Spade's comment at the time. Eddie, Eddie, you had a joke about Ralph Cramden and Ed Norton having sex together. And you were taken aback by this joke. All right. Murphy, he was quoted as saying, it was like, yo, it's in-house. I'm one of the family and you're effing with me like that? It hurt my feelings like that. It hurt your feelings? Try watching Norbert, brother. This is Saturday Night Live, he continued. I'm the biggest thing that ever came off that show. The show would have been off the air if I didn't go back on that show. And now you got somebody from that cast making a crack about my career? And I, I know we just can't say that. The joke has to go through all these channels. So the producers, they thought it was okay to say that. And all the people that have been on that show, You've never heard nobody make no joke about anybody's career. Really? Hmm. Let's see. This is your man. Get this guy, Garrett Marks. <laughs> Serious business. I know he's a little over Word has it he has a lot of free time right now. Back to you, Charlie. <laughs> word has it he has a lot of free time right now. Back to you, Charlie. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Eddie. Never been done. Murphy added, most people that get off that show, they don't go on and have amazing careers. Wait a minute. Adam Sandler, Will Farrell, Mike Myers, Tim Chase, Chris Rock, Chris Farley, Dan Aykroyd. They can go on, but no. They don't go on to do anything. He says it was personal. It was like, yo, how can you do that? My career? Really? A joke about my career? So I thought that was a cheap shot, Murphy said. And it was kind of... I thought... Here's the kicker. He says, I felt it was racist. Racist? Seriously, what about any of this is because of race? Was it a cheap shot? It probably. Was there jealousy? Yeah, I'd say so. You were the biggest star in the country until that movie. But racist? Racist? I'm sorry, I'm not seeing it. Did I miss some secret white guy code? Did I, did I, maybe I missed a meeting or something. Did all the white people at Saturday Night Live and Tim Meadows get together and say, let's write a shitty joke about Eddie because he's black. And they all started cheering for white power led by Tim Meadows. Is that what you really think, Eddie? You think it's like one of your skits from Saturday Night Live? However, Murphy, Murphy says he and Spade are cool today. Cool like the other side of a pillow. Okay, 
It's always racist. But you guys are cool today. Did he become unracist in the last 30 years? Did he go to an unracist class for white people? Or, Eddie, do you have a movie coming out? And since everyone, everything is racist in 2024, let's throw poor little old Joe Dirt under the bus. Let's bring up a joke from 30 years ago. It's clearly not a racist joke. If they wanted to go after you, they would have brought up that little weird traffic stop you had back in the day. Not everything is racist. How will you know real racism if people like Eddie keep saying everything is racist? I've been a fan since Saturday Night Live days. But today, I'm disappointed in you, Eddie Murphy. You didn't need to go there. Stupid race card. Spade had addressed Murphy's reaction to the joke in a 1997 interview with Entertainment Weekly. Quote, Chris Rock told me, Spade, Eddie's got the biggest movie in 10 years, a beautiful wife, and he still can't shake the fact that you took a swipe at him. Spade said, tell him three words that'll change his life. Let it go. Yeah, Eddie, just, just let it go, dude. Why does this bother you so much? Was David Spade being racist? Or did he just tell a joke that somehow 30 years later is somehow construed some kind of way? Or does Eddie have a point? We thought the idea of comedy, you know, comedians, was to push the limits, to go there, as they say. But this is the new reality. Everything, everything is somehow some kind of ism. We don't really like it. What about you? Leave a comment down below. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's watch Delirious and remember the good old days.